Prince Harry's former royal biographer Angela Levin has revealed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were left absolutely furious by the snub of being relegated to the second row at St. Paul's Cathedral. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were demoted to the second row at St. Paul's Cathedral during the service of Thanksgiving for the Platinum Jubilee. The relegated position was a visual snub from the royal family, according to GB News host Alistair Stewart. Angela Levin, the royal biographer, agreed with Mr. Stewart's claims, saying the couple were absolutely furious by the arrangement. Mr. Stewart said, they were in the second row, not behind the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge, but in the second row even behind people like the Wessexes. He wouldn't be there if the Queen didn't want him to be there, but to me, it was a visual snub. It was not a total snub. They got the proper royal car and they were escorted down the aisle. Ms. Levin said Harry and Meghan were visibly seating by the second row seats. She said, if you look at Harry's face, I spent a year with him when I did his biography. He wears his expressions and feelings on his face and he was absolutely furious. Co-panelist Norman Baker responded, because they were on the second row? Ms. Levin said, yes, they were furious. He was furious he had to get people to move up. He was very angry. So far, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's return to the UK for the Jubilee celebrations has been notably low-key. Royal aides sought to avoid any frosty interaction between William and Harry after the couples barely acknowledged each other at the Commonwealth Day service in March 2020. Instead, they sat the couple far away from the Cambridges as well as from the Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall. Royal correspondent and friend of Meghan, Omid Scobie, told BBC Breakfast on Friday that Harry and Meghan want to be as low-profile as possible during this trip. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle screamed uneasiness through their body language at the Queen's Thanksgiving service. The couple made their royal comeback after two years Friday as they walked their way towards St. Paul's Cathedral in a lingering family feud. Nick Davis told the Daily Star, as Harry greets Meghan from her side of the car, they both preen each other, by checking each other's collar swigging, which shows a sign of unity. Meghan looks slightly uncomfortable entering the building, as you'd expect, carefully checking her steps and walking slightly slower than Harry. Mr. Davis added that Meghan appears to spot someone at the front and mentions this to Harry which leads the couple to both look down. He frowns briefly showing it may be the person slash s they had conflict with that caused the initial royal rift.